So what are we going to do, Marcus? From the dead. Marcus came back from the dead. So what if you what if you go here? What if uh find optical unit? Um I'm assuming wait, find optical unit and then you find two other things? Huh. Yeah, there's two other hmm. Well you can oh I guess maybe you just die in there? I guess. Hmm. Find Amanda. Okay. This is what it looked like when doves cry. Which one's Amanda? Hey, player, are you Amanda? Yo, I love your Hello, hair. Hello, Amanda. Who is Amanda? Connor. It's good to see you. I thought that was a dude for a second. Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Uh, let's see. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? Hmm, Hank? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I mean, he looked out for me. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Uh, friendly. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful. Oh, for you the didn't like that? You don't like that? I want to be nice to the dude that. Pulled a gun out on another dude to keep me alive? More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. I mean, y'all made made these robots, and you gave them free will-ish, kinda. Um, don't you think they'd eventually get tired of getting beat on and shit? I mean, if you don't want them to fight back, then why did you give them a, the ability to fight? I don't Can know. Can I help you? I never understood I'm that. here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> Winking at her. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Bingo. Let's go look for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level with a Russian carrier and an American patrol. Yeah, so it's like they're they're sitting there flipping out like you give these androids like these advanced like programming to like be companions and and then you expect them to... I'm looking for Lieutenant I don't know, dude. Desk. Has spoken of it's that desk right there. That cannot go the countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada... We've got to, we've got to snoop through his stuff. To and an it's a very touchy subject. Detroit Today, the three laws of robotic parenting. Family life has never been easier. UN warns World War Three. President Warren, 33. Hmm. How do we take care of robot babies? Family life has never been easier when cyber life needs to release their child range. Public were skeptical purchasing a family. Hmm. Customers remove LED, no hunger, no expensive childcare, no new clothes. That's that's all the fun of having kids though, isn't it? Feeding them and 
clothes, smelly diapers. Perfect child is only a click away. All it needs to be uh, can be suspended at the touch of a button. It's child's play. It's, oh, okay. So it's like if you get sick of them, you can press a button and be like, "Yeah, you shut your little child mouth." Yeah, I don't. This is not cool. Unemployment at thirty-seven. 7500 for a child that avoids a dreaded teenage years shelling out college seems like a wise investment rate of 350000 over 17 years. Plus it doesn't have a lifelong commitment, but so the other way it agrees that these Android are leading fewer parents to have children at a time when our birthdays are already too far low. But then like what? So you have this kid forever and then you're like, yeah, I'm tired of this kid. And then you throw them out and then they grow up and... Oh, what? I don't care about this. And then you throw them out and then they just stay the, the cheering. Are damaged. That's a donut. Can I touch it? Let's see. Is this his raggedy desk? Anderson. Yes. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. Well, if we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Alright. He's got his little jeans on. That's funny. <sighs> Alright, let's go explore. <clears throat> we got time. Ba -ba -ba -ba! Go see the Deviant. Oh, we can go see the Deviant? Where would the Deviant be? Learn about Lieutenant Anderson, explore his desk. Let's 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 ex learn about him, Baby, and then we'll right the um go check on the DB. Oh, okay, he does sound like the kind of guy that would listen to that kind of music. Knights of the Black Death, dark heavy metal. Right, that sounds like Lieutenant Anderson. To avoid injury, don't tell me how to do my job. We don't bleed the same color. Anti-Android slogans? Great. Okay, well, that's always fun to learn about your partner, right? He's a basketball. They make baseball hats? Okay, he likes basketball. Detroit Police Dismantle Network Red Ice Steelers. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Mr. Krabs must have been a busy dude. Busy dude. Uh, we're at Jimmy's bar. He likes donuts. He's a cop. So it makes sense. And the coffee. No, I mean that's oh he's got a little like a little bonsai tree thing right. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. <laughs> Japanese maple, the shishigashira shonen shohin, shishigashira. Best attempt I got. Let's see. He's got some Fleetwood Mac tickets, so you can listen to landslide on repeat. <laughs> oh. He's got a dog, St. Bernard. Okay. Now we saw the dog. There's some right here. Uh, let's see. Multi department unit responsible for Red Ice Network dismantle in 2028. Well, that was nice to learn about good old Eugene Krabs. He was a decorated officer. Oh. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Well, enter and listen or explore the office. Let's enter and listen. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now... 
We're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you left me holding the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Well, uh... I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best- Close the door on your way out. Okay. I guess I'll leave now. Have a nice day, Captain. Dick. Whew. Well, that seemed to have gone pretty good. Check on Hank. Let's go check on Hank. Uh... I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Hmm. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. I don't think that was the right thing to say. <laughs> that was a little, little... Uh... Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Cool, it's right next door to yours. We like buddies, we can high five and stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go check on the deviant. I think that would be cool. Now, the only problem is we need to find out where he is. So, meeting room, break room. Ah. Let's go see. Is that him? Nope. There, he's being creepy. Hi. They're going to destroy me. No, they're not. We talked about it. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. But there's nothing I can do. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. I'm going to die. Oh, this isn't helping, dude. Come on. They said they were going to move you and study you, but studying might be that they'll... Can we just touch this and let you out? I love it when people do, they ask some questions. How's your day today? Um. Ooh. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! Stop it. Stop it. Don't do... God damn it. Don't do that. Is it dead? I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up.
Wow. <sighs> Can we like go in there? Cause remember they said we were gonna probe his mind or something. Can we like? Can we walk in there and you know like get his secrets or something? Shit. Okay. All right. What? What are you looking at? You? What are you hey, gonna do about you. it? What are you gonna do about it? Sit your ass back down. Yeah, sit your ass down. He ain't gonna do nothing. Big baby. <sighs> okay. All right. That went. Uh, that went pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. Oh no, I don't. The break room. That's when they have that one jerk <laughs> cop. Fuck. Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. It's a better job than you did. Stupid. Hello, Detective Reed. Rub it in his face. Never seen an android like you before. What model are you? RK-800. Yeah, you know how to read on, on my prototype. chest. A prototype? Android detective. So machines are gonna replace us all. Is that it? If you don't start hey, doing your damn job, yeah. Bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! No. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> If Hank hadn't gotten the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way. Because next time, you won't get off so easy. I'm really looking forward to you dying sometime in this game. Just you mentioning that, you know? I, I have a feeling that the game is going to be like, hey, should you, you know, forgive this guy for being a dick or let him die? I'm going to let you know right now, Several I'm going to let you die. Just in, you know, just in case you were wondering. Public opinion, now, Michael. This would be the first D -bag. case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigation. Is there anything in here? I was thinking maybe we can get some donuts for home dude since he's a donut connoisseur. We contacted Cyber. Live for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. Okay. All right, I get to sit down next to my partner, my best friend in here. Let's see. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? Champion. What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. That's cool. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oh. Sorry. My bad that you had to do your job. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think the anti-androids thing would be a good idea. Be like, hey! So about them androids! <laughs> you know, fuck it, let's do it. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering... Is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. I 
So it was just 2-2. Two, two. So we're back to neutral. We did too good, too bad. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. For a second I thought that was Ving Rhames. I was wondering. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? All right, well. If you have any files on Deviants, I'm going to get the work. I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Don't worry about listening to heavy metal. You get it? You get it? You get the joke? Ah, right. Gordon Lopez. Gordon Lopez. Hmm. I uh, open the plaintiff reports that he left his Android home as usual, but when he went on work, when he returned, Android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break in the apartment the Android had left home without being ordered to. Well. Suspect would be AL series AB reporting officer. Not involving Android, Charles Bell, case reference attack, the plaintiff claims of attacked by an A five hundred model Android working as a waiter in a fast Coney Dog restaurant chain. The plaintiff claims Android lunged at him unexpectedly attempted to strangle a man before leaving the scene. For, for buying hot dogs? Oh. Hey, we saw her earlier. Remember? That's the that's the Android's face that didn't load. Sarah Cornwall, plaintiff claims have been attacked by her Android. Uh, an A19, 802 model. The Android has been trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Hmm. Probably because her face didn't load and she lost her damn mind. Floyd Bills? Yo, what's up with this robot? No, oh, I was about to say, this is a sex robot. Look at that. The plane of the Magic Eden Club reported unexplained disappearance of a sex android. The android disappeared after coming to customers' home and never returned to the club. Boy. Leo Manfred was destroyed. Hmm. Todd Williams homicide. The victim's body was found by a friend who came to say hello. He immediately called the emergency. That dude didn't have any friends. Why y'all lying? Who recorded death by gunshot wound. The murder weapon had been belonged. The victim is android. Was not found on the scene. And is the main suspect. Hmm. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit, and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Okay. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Come on, Mr. Krabs, lighten up. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Get your ass to work, Mr. Krabs. The perfect motivation. Looks like we did our job. 